All right, so I am going to plug in with my 110 converter. Um, originally, this has a 220 outlet um, directly attached to the machine, but it does come with a 110 converter. And as you can see, I have 110 in my garage right there. So luckily they thought ahead and put in a uh, converter on the end. So let's fire this thing up. Well, at least it sounds like it's doing something. There's your amperage control, and you would adjust this based off of the type of metal, the thickness of your metal, and what kind of electrode you have. I don't have any of my uh, hookups um, to this yet, so I can do that. And I just hooked in the ground. So this apparently was an upgrade that they did. You can see on the inside, this is a solid plate of copper. Whereas I was told on previous versions of this welder that it was a copper coil and it didn't always have the best at um, attachment. Um, so apparently that was an upgrade they made. So this will get me started on stick welding. Put the uh, electrode in here and clamp this to, uh, to your worktop. And just in case you didn't see these earlier, um, this is where the electrode goes. Um, I call them rods. That's what I've always grown up hearing them called. Um, this can sometimes be referred to as a stinger. I don't call it that, I just call it the rod holder. Um, and this is your ground, so you're gonna attach this to whatever piece that you're actually welding. All right, so these are part of the TIG um, accoutrements that come in the box with the welder. Um, so these are your gas shields, um, these are your tungsten, and got to be honest, I'm not really certain what this um, does right here, but I have the manual. I'm going to look and see um, how to use each of these elements effectively. Um, but that's what they look like if they were a little hard to see earlier. All right. Well, you saw me open up this box. It is Argon Flow Meter Regulators. Um, gives a bunch of information on the outside of the box. Um, this is what it looks like. But because I am absolutely clueless currently as to how you use one of these, I will also need to um, read up on it. I'm not too worried about learning about it right now because um, my stick welding purposes don't call for um, gas. So it's not an urgent need for me to know right away, but I will need to learn it eventually. Um, it also came with um, tubing for your TIG welding needs um, to attach to gas when you do get it. Um, this would be um, to connect your gas to the machine. Um, and then this is the TIG attachment um, for the outlet portion of the gas. Um, so you can see this is um, where the TIG rod comes out. The tungsten will stick out here. Um, and the gas cap, the pink things that I showed you earlier, are going to go um, on the end of this. So, um, just to kind of give you a visual ahead of time. Um, this is obviously some sort of collar to, to hold it in place, but um, I'll give a more um, in-depth um, on it later. Again, I'm not starting off with TIG, so it will be a little bit before I get to these. 